Welcome to the VPG video series covering the installation of the VanWay system. In this video, we will cover the process of configuring the VanWay display unit. Please note, the guidance in this video is related to the guidance in the VanWay manual. The display unit is installed in the cab of the vehicle. It must be configured to reflect how the sensors and junction box have been installed on the vehicle. In this video, we will configure the display unit for a vehicle with one junction box that is connected to four sensors. The vehicle has two axles with strut suspension systems. Turn the vehicle ignition on to activate the display unit. A message is displayed indicating that the junction box has not been configured. The axles and sensors must be configured before the zero and span calibration can be performed. Tap the screen to show the menu option and then tap the configuration icon. Tap login, enter the engineer pin number and tap the return icon. Next, tap vehicle configuration to show the vehicle configuration menu. Tap JBox config to show the current configuration of the junction box. Tap the orientation value. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the orientation of the junction box. This is the direction that the top face of the junction box is facing. In this example, the junction box is facing down. Tap the tick icon to save the selection. To adjust the number of axles on the vehicle, tap the axles value. Next, tap axles. A message is displayed if you have changed any settings. Tap yes to send the changes to the junction box. In the axle setup menu, you need to configure each axle to match the number and type of sensors that are installed on it. Axle number one is the front axle. Tap the type value to select the type of sensor that is installed on the axle. Tap the sensor count value to set the number of sensors that are installed on the axle. Swipe left or right to show the sensor configuration for another axle and set the values as appropriate. In this example, each axle has two axle transducers installed. Tap back and send any changes to the junction box. Next, tap sensors. Here, you need to configure each sensor to match its position and orientation on the vehicle. Check that the serial number on the sensor is mapped to the correct position. Position one is the left side of the front axle. Two is the right side. Position three is the left side of the second axle. Four is the right. The sensor direction should be set to not applicable for strut suspension. Tap back and save any changes. Then tap back to go to the vehicle configuration page. Tap alarms. Here you can enable the gross alarm and set its value. This is the value that will trigger an alarm if the total weight of the vehicle payload exceeds a maximum allowable weight. Next, swipe up and tap axles. Here you can enable each axle alarm and set its value. This is the value that will trigger an alarm if the weight of the payload over each axle exceeds the maximum allowable weight for that axle. Once the alarms are set, tap back and save any changes. This concludes the video for configuring the junction box. Further guidance on this procedure can be found in the manual. You can find more information on installing the other parts of the Vanway system in the playlist on our YouTube channel or by visiting our website.